Colin McCann, The Crucifixion According to St. Mark For Colin McCann, the New Zealand landscape was a place where great dramas could unfold. In 1947, McCann made his first paintings in which biblical scenes were translated into the New Zealand landscape. In this work, McCann took his subject from St. Mark's Gospel, a narrative of Christ's death and resurrection that McCann described as stark and cruel. McCann depicts the moment of Christ's death. Christ cries out, Eloi, Eloi, lamach sabachthani, or, My God, my God, why hast thou forsaken me? His mother Mary and the Apostle John stand on the left of the work. On the right-hand side, an onlooker offers up a sponge soaked in vinegar for Christ to drink while saying, Let alone, let us see whether Elias will come to take him down. In the background of the work, the temple is torn in two by something that looks like an atomic explosion. In placing the scene in the New Zealand landscape, McCann was following a very old tradition. In the 14th century, early Renaissance painters had depicted religious narratives in a local European setting. The use of painted inscriptions from the Bible was also a feature of religious art at this time. McCann, nevertheless, gives this painting a very modern treatment. The figures are extremely simplified, almost brutal. Their speech bubbles are cartoon-like, and indeed, McCann acknowledged the influence of comic books and said that the style of his painted texts was influenced by the packaging on a brand of soap powder. The landscape is stripped back to a series of repeating shapes, and the yellow background, while recalling the gold leaf used in early religious paintings, is resolutely modern. Interestingly, McCann includes himself in the work as an observer. His painted profile hovers just inside the right-hand side of the frame. While these early religious works caused some consternation, they also had passionate supporters. A reviewer writing about the work's first public showing described them as a breathtaking shock. He wrote, McCann's pictures show an audacious and original vision in a tradition as old as religion itself. His raw crudity gives the same sledgehammer force as the direct simplicity of the biblical text. His sincerity, forthrightness, and conviction with his power to use symbols are like a blast of fresh air. McCann held the crucifixion, according to St. Mark, in high regard, describing it as the sum of all his early religious paintings. He gave the work to Ron O'Reilly, his close friend and a long-standing supporter, on the understanding that following O'Reilly's death, the work would be given to the Christchurch Art Gallery. The painting entered the collection in 1982.